What's up, everybody? We're back. Silverton Hotel and Casino once again. I got my girlfriend with me. What's up, everybody? We're and, back. And we're going to be putting 20 bucks in. And um, I've had a couple previous successful sessions doing a... Um, Basically, I'm doing a don't pass with a hedge to establish the point, and then I'm using come bets as I feel. Um, if the seven comes on the come bet, we get it. If it gets established, we're trying to play the light side before we get the don't pass. So it's been working. Let's see if we can work it out. Um, go one on the don't pass and then go three on the lay 10. And that way we're winning on the seven on the come out. So let's go positive vibes, guys. Send us your love. Um, kick it off. Hit that smash button. Let's get the two or three. Give us a good sign. All right, we got a four, we like that. Four or actually, easy. yeah, we do like that on the don't yeah, pass, we just don't like that on the come. So let's add one to the odds, and then let's spit one out on the come bet. If the seven comes here, so you're gonna place one on the come. Right there, yep. If the seven comes, we win that come bet, as well as the DPs. That's a six. The six, that's a good proposition for the um, come bet. Let's add another come bet. All right, let's go. That's a two, so we lose the combat. That's unfortunate, but we're gonna make up for that. Let's add one in odds, and then add another combat. Keep those combats coming, because when those sevens come, that's gonna pay you. There we go. All right, so we're gonna get paid on the combat, the odds, as well as the DP, but we're gonna lose the six. So that actually puts us up to twenty-one dollars. So we're up after all of that, and we're gonna rinse and repeat one and three. Uh, three on the lay ten. All right, let's get it, guys. Let's go. Or again, all right, repeat process, so um, let's add one to the odds and one on the come. There we go, let's get that seven right away, seven out. Oh, four, all right, so we're gonna get that established. We lose the two dollars, and now um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go um, one dollar there and then five dollars on the ten, because we gotta worry about this. If the seven comes, we're also gonna lose that, so we have to factor that into our equation. All right, nine, we're thankful that wasn't a ten. And now we're gonna go there, and then let's add two dollars to the odds and then one on the come. So as you go deeper into it, you add a little bit more to try to make up for it. All right, that's a four. That's good. We're going to win that. So essentially, we get that back as a free roll. So no odds. And now let's add another come. And if a seven comes, we win all of this, but we lose that. But we did gain on that other hit, so we're okay. There we go. All right, so that's a great scenario for us. And that's going to put us back up over. So bringing it back down, we're at 22.33. And um, that's essentially what the system does. It works the DP as well as the light side. Um, it's a little more focused on the dark side. Seven. All right, so we're going to win there. That's what we like. And that's what we're trying to set ourselves up to do is win on the seven. Yep. And uh, the light side is essentially a bonus. So let's go. Let's get it. Let's keep it rolling. Two, three. Two, three. All right, we'll take a six. And when it's on the six or the eight, I don't like to um, do a come bet right away. So um, what I'll do, or no, I'll, um, what I'll do is I'll take, I won't play the odds, but I'll play a come bet right away. So just do that. And if the seven comes, we're gonna win both. There we go. All right, so that's the ideal scenario. So otherwise, it would have given us a second chance had it established. So look at that, 24, 75, we're in for three minutes. Let's keep it rolling. Rinse and repeat, one, and then uh, three on that leg. Looks like she's got the hang of it. What do you think of the system? Five, all right. And now we're gonna add one to the odds, and then we're gonna do a come bet and pull our lay bet down. All right. So ideal scenario is a seven out right here. And we get a ten. So we're glad that lay bet wasn't up. Um, on the come bet, you prefer the middle numbers because these are least likely to roll. Um, let's keep it going. Um, we're gonna add one to the odds right now because we're favored against the five. Yep. Um, one come bet. Let's get that seven right away or the ten. All right, that's a six. We don't mind that. That's very likely to roll. Um, so let's do one more come bet and then add one more to the odds. All right, let's get it, guys. Let's get that six, ten. Six over ten. Oh, that's a five. That's not good. So we lose the odds and the DP, but we don't lose these up here. And now what we got to be conscious of is we're going to go one on the DP, but we got to go a lot heavier up there. So let's go seven and say a prayer. Let's go. All right, six, that's what we like. So we're gonna save our, um, pull down our lay bet. We get that. So we get that back. Our, um, there you go. All right, so now what we wanna do is add, um, go two on the odds, and we're not gonna add a come bet because essentially we already have two bets out there. So let's try to get a five or a 10 before the seven. All right, there we go. So that's what we like. And now let's try to get the 10. And actually, let's pull down that odds to one. We're profiting. Um, otherwise, we're looking to get the 10. And we just want to mitigate the variance associated with rolling a six. Man, we were so close there. We're looking for the 10. Right, rinsing and repeating. Let's get it. Better than the six, but we're looking for the 10. We'll take a seven, but we prefer the 10. Oh, 
11 again. I'm going to get two 11s, but no 10s. Come on, give it to us. You're 11. Let's go. Let's go. So we're going to lose the DP. Which is okay, it's to be expected, that's gonna happen sometimes, but with the bet that we have out there and the money we have in the bank, we're still up. So let's go back to the DP and now let's go five. And then if we do get a, a seven out here, we're gonna pop. All right, three, so we like that. We win the DP, so that adds a dollar to our bank up there. Um, and we're just gonna rinse and repeat and go ahead and get the... Uh, Come back, feel back. Now pull down our and we have, so we're going to go one in odds, and we're going to rock it like that, hoping to get the 10. If the 7 comes, we still profit. Let's get that 10. All set up. So we still profit, and it clears all the bets, so it's not really a bad position. And now we get to rinse and repeat, starting all over. And look at that guy, it's like magic, 2258. So the system really is capable of withstanding a good amount of variance. It's going to give you a lot of play for your money. Ooh, 11. So we're going to lose that. Yeah, That's all right. Um, let's bump it. Uh, actually, you know what? No, let's just leave it at one. Let's rinse and repeat. We're making up for it with the odds and we're playing the light side. So there's a lot of ways we can gain the units back, and we just gain half back what we lost. So. All right, sticking with it. Staying consistent. Let's get it, guys. Let's go. Two or three. All right, four. That's an ideal scenario there. So let's go ahead and add two in odds, and then let's add one to the combat, and let's hope we can get that seven up right here. Hope we like that for the hey, combat. And now let's add another combat. No field. And we're looking good. All right, let's go. Let's get that seven out or the eight first. Take that. Lay off. Oh, there we go. All right, so uh, that's a good scenario. We wish it would have happened last round, but we're okay with it. And that's going to put us back to $24. So we are surviving. We're making it happen. Rinsing and repeating. She knows the drill. Let's go. Two, three. It's our turn. Two or three. Six, all right, not gonna do it for us, but we're okay, we're not losing our lay. And then let's, um, no, let's just try to resolve this, actually. Glad that didn't happen last round. And um, you're a slight favorite with a six and the eight, so I try to keep the variance to a minimum by not playing as much bets as I will on the four, five, nine, or the ten. Um, that's personal preference. Four. Four soft. And right now, if we're placing come bets, we'd be in the position where we'd have a lot of Oh, eight. All right. thought that was going to be a seven. Yeah, it was a uh, extended roll. Let's go. Let's get that seven. Come back, build back. All the hardways are available. All right, we're trying to resolve it, trying to get ourselves in a better position to profit. We're okay with being here, but. And on a combat, that would win. But, but right now, we'd have so many combats. So we'd have to have tons of odds. I don't want to be in that position. But let me know what you guys think of the system. It's been working so far. Once again, this is the third time trying it. There we go. All right, finally. Patience and persistence pays off. All right, so we got our seven there. We are at $25 even. We're in for eight minutes. Let's, uh, let's keep it going. Let's see if um, let's try to get it up to 30. Please place your box. Famous last words though, right? Let's try to get it up to 30. All right. All right, let's keep it rolling. So look at that, 26, let's go. Staying positive, consistent and persistent is the name of the game. Oh, give it and it take it away. Just like that. And it's so ironic how often that happens. I really like that. So we get through that whole exchange, we gain 42 cents. Three rolls, 42 cents profit. Let's get two or three. All right, we can work with it. I think we're going to get a seven out, so let's go one combat and add one to the odds. That way we're um, winning on a seven, but we're also... Uh, four, that's not, the best, that's not the best scenario. Oh, wow, interesting. All right, so let's just keep it like this. If we get the seven, uh, we're okay, but we're looking to get the four. Get a four repeater. So four repeater, then the seven's ideal. Down behind, Nine. Flirting with disaster. Nine. All right, let's keep it rolling. Let's get it, guys. Positive bars. Let's go. Whoa, we needed that on the come out. All right, here it comes. Four. Yes, hard four. I call four. We get it. And now, um, I don't really want to add the risk into playing the uh, odds right there. We've got a unit there. So if we get this, it'll be two, and then we can move on to a better scenario. And although you are favored with the seven against the eight, it really isn't a great. All right, there we go. So we played it right there by taking that down. And now I see, yeah, 25 42. It gives us a great uh, opportunity to keep on going, staying consistent and persistent. Let's get it. Two three. 
12. That's a bar, so we're gonna get that back. And sorry, we got the nightclub music bump in here right now. So I'll try and talk over. Five. There we go. All right, so now this is a great position. Let's add one in odds and let's add the come bet. All right, so three dollars gain. Less than that on seven out right here. Yes, there we go. All right, that's one of the best scenarios we can have happen, other than adding more money. All right, so look at that. 2808. Let's keep it rolling. Let's go one more, or not one more, but let's keep it rolling. Excuse me. Nine, right? So let's do the same exact thing. So we're going to add one, and then we're taking that down. Let's get the seven out again, guys. Ideal scenario. Yes, there we go. All right, so are we at our target? I think we are. All right, guys, so we, um, this is the third time playing that system. The first time playing it with my girlfriend. How did you like it? It's not as aggressive, but it's uh, a little more manageable, and you're not going to um, risk a lot, and you have a decent chance of winning. So we hope you guys enjoy this. Um, we're going to keep coming back, playing more systems, producing more content. So once again, coming at you from the Silverton Hotel and Casino. We're in for 20. We're out for 30.74. Like and subscribe. Until next time. Until next time.